Soap Central presents the 51st Annual Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet Coverage. Celebrating 30 years of connecting fans with the beloved characters and stories of the soap opera world. Live from the Westin Bonaventure Hotel in Los Angeles, California. And your host, Dan Kroll. We're highlighting the best moments and celebrating the enduring legacy of soaps. Look at you, so roomy over here in the corner. On the daytime, this is called the off-ramp. This is the daytime Emmy's off-ramp. How many people have been quoting Dirty Dancing to you tonight? None until now. Nobody puts Soap Central in the corner. I agree with that. <laughs> and no one, well, people try to put hope in a corner. Gosh. It doesn't usually go well. Oh, she's, she's, she's all over the place. She's in the corner, she's in the middle of the room, she's in the front of the room, it's the side door, the emergency exit. It's it's uh, it's, it's uh, pretty interesting right now. So with all of those directionals and things, I'm going to put you to the test in 30 seconds or less. I know, I'm sorry. Everything that has happened to your character in the last year and go. Uh, she uh, said she wasn't interested in her lead designer and uh, and then uh, wound up kissing him in front of the Coliseum and then uh, she, Liam found out about it and then they had a confrontation and then she finally got with the lead designer and then they had a torrid love affair and then she got divorced from Liam and then um, uh, 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 then there's been more um, uh, uh, Steffi kind of like put a bug in Thomas's ear and was like I think you should leave her and you deserve better because he proposed a bunch of times and Hope kept saying no and uh, then he went off to Europe and we don't know if we're ever going to see him again. <sighs> we will regroup, we will take a moment, but if you're going to kiss someone that you may or may not be attracted to, I would have to imagine that in front of the Coliseum is not the worst place to do it. Look, I, I to be able to travel on location on our show is so, I mean, it also was my first time in Rome. So that just was iconic in and of itself. So I really, I had so much fun running. And also you didn't, what you didn't see was us in between filming, running around trying to get in as much sites as we can. It was like Lawrence and Scott and we were just sprinting. Like we have to go see the wall, we have to go see the steps. So um, that was really fun and to get to know each other even more outside of the show and drink good wine and eat some pasta. It was, it was an amazing time. I mean, it's it's fun because The Bold and the Beautiful is the only show that does this. So we get to sort of live vicariously through all of uh, all of your antics. Can we call them antics? Yes, I, I really. I'm like rolling. The, I'm like Australia. Come on, Australia or New Zealand. You know, because I, I when I came on the show, I got to see the epic 30 year when they were going to almost. I feel like every Netherlands and Australia and Italy and Monaco. So I'm. Who knows what the future holds, but I, I'm just grateful to be here. <laughs> I'm not one to say that I make things happen, but one year I spoke to Heather Tom and she had lamented that she hadn't been on a, on a uh, remote. And then I said, you know what, we're gonna make it happen. And then she went to Australia. So if there's another one to be had, where do we want to go? Well, I know there's a lot happening in Paris right now. And aussi je parle français, donc uh, maybe maybe there's uh, some Parisian. Uh, maybe we can manifest that. Monsieur Bell, puis-je aller à Paris? Uh, encore? Ah. Um, S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oui. <laughs> uh, let's not forget. Let's let's go back to the the moment of lead actress nominee. It's kind of a big thing. I am uh, a. T aghast and thrilled and honored to be amongst the daytime legends that I am and to get get it the first year I ever submitted for lead is huge for me um, so now I said I already won I've already won having been nominated amongst these women and now everything from here on out is just icing on the cake and I can't wait to celebrate with them because it's been so fun getting to know them all outside of our own little soap bubbles. I, I think winning is the ladies through lunch meal and it was open to lots more people. Oh, yeah, Jackie freaking went all out. She, I, like, it was just a one, it was such a wonderful feeling of that community of women from all across daytime supporting, guest star, lead, and it just, it was such a wonderful, wonderful day. It, it, and we, we had fun talking. <laughs> I, I think that expression says it all. We don't need to ask anymore. We want to, but we don't need to. Uh, I'm going to let you go, but before I do, uh, anything that you're really excited for, other than obviously your category, anything else that you're looking forward to tonight? Dick Van Dyke. I, I want to see Dick Van Dyke so badly. I, I'm 
want to start singing Mary Poppins or Chitty Chitty Bang. I don't know, the musical theater child that grew up watching his shows and his show. I, I really hope I get to meet him. I don't know if he's here, but if he's watching, uh, which of the many Mary Poppins songs would we sing? <laughs> chim chimmery, chim chimmery, chim chim chim. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Now I'm going to have to let you go because I'm sure somewhere someone will say, pull the cord. Anyway, thank you so much. It was great thank talking you. to you. Thank you. It was lovely talking to you too. Have fun in the corner. I'm going to try.